Iceland is a stunning volcanic melting pot on the edge of the Arctic Circle. It has some of the most extraordinary and beautiful landscapes known to man and a unique food world to match. This place is home to rotten shark, whale meat, and something I've always wanted to try, puffin. Here, they have a puffin feast on the menu. I'm intrigued to see what it delivers in terms of texture and flavor, and more importantly, I'm dying to find out what it actually tastes like. I'm sampling a starter of fresh salad with smoked puffin. Thank you. And where's the puffin, darling? It's all over here. Oh, the dark bits. See, it's hiding in the bushes again. Yes, it is. See, where is it? Thank you. Never tasted anything like it before. I actually quite like it. It's very creamy, slightly gamey, a little bit salty, but quite intriguing because it's very smooth on the palate. And obviously, a fucking nightmare to catch because there's hardly any on my fucking plate. Puffin is such an amazing new ingredient, I'm keen to grill the local chefs about it. Fascinating for me, my first time eating puffin. Uh, very dark. Yeah, very dark. Rich bird. Yeah, yeah. And it smells a little bit like liver. It's quite, yeah. quite, quite yeah, dark. Like lump liver. Dark meat, a mm -hmm. little bit like game, like you said. Yeah. And yeah, really rich flavor. I enjoyed it. I'm intrigued by it. Thank you. Having tasted puffin for the first time, I want to find out where they come from and learn the age old way of hunting them. So I'm moving further south. I've seen some airports in my time, but this is taking the piss. I'm heading to the Westman Islands, 10 miles off Iceland's south coast. There are more Atlantic puffin on these remote islands than anywhere else in the world. The birds are a traditional food hunted for centuries by locals like Oli Frateer. Oli, how are you? Hi there. Hi there, good. Good to see you. Welcome to Westman Islands. Thank you. Now, yeah. You look like a little puffin. <laughs> Bulky, Thank sturdy, you. yeah. Thank you. Full of stamina. Yeah. Can you fly? Not really, but Not really. Uh, I'm always hoping to. So you've eaten a lot of puffin. In the UK, yeah, yeah. yeah, everyone right now will be thinking, oh my god, they're cute, they're beautiful, yeah, they've got lovely yeah, beaks. Yeah, yeah. We've got them as teddy bears for the kids. Uh, okay, okay. Why in the hell are you eating them? Well, to begin with, there are a lot of them. Around here there are four or five million puffins. So they're in abundance. The traditional food in Westman Islands are the puffins, especially yes. smoked puffins. So it goes back centuries and ago in terms of a staple food yeah, supply yeah, yeah. that the island survived on. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just tastes yeah. very good. The method Oliver uses to catch them is hundreds of years old. What is that thing? It's called haur. 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 Yeah. Well, it's close enough. Okay, let's it. just call it a pole vault with a net on the end. Okay, you can call ah. it whatever you like. I call it haur. There are no puffings on this open part of the island, so it's perfect for practicing sky fishing. I would wait for the puffin flying this way, slowly, after they and turn, and then they will fly into the net, take the puffin out, and break the net. Come a little go. The bird is flying that direction. Follow, 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 follow. Poof, back. Why can't we just get a gun and shoot them? <laughs> this is more of a sport. Yeah, but I shoot them, you catch them in the net. Yes. Yeah. As they fall out of the sky. The official hunting season doesn't start until tomorrow, which gives me plenty of time to perfect my swing. Got him. Yeah, OK, OK. Got okay, it, got okay, it. Okay. I've got it. <laughs>